What is up everybody? How's it going? Hopefully you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to give my review of Whatnot and discuss my thoughts and opinions about the platform. I'm going to be discussing what's good and what's bad about it and my own personal opinions with it. So to first start off, if you guys don't know what Whatnot is, it's kind of between a mixture of what or, um, eBay and Twitch. So it's kind of a stream of selling things. So that's kind of like what it is. So let's talk about the good first. The reason why I loved Whatnot and what enticed me in, is that I actually wanted a platform where I can actually look at the items ahead of time and see the condition of it and see what's wrong with it, what's bad, what's good about it, and um, have an interaction with the seller. And it'll just be a quick, simple process and there, therefore it'll be a good transaction. And so I really love that whole essence of just being there, interacting with the seller live while I'm buying the item instead of me messaging them back and forth and stuff like that. That way I can get it on film when I buy the item. So also the good thing is I went onto this platform back in August of 2022 Back then, they had the best shipping available where you can buy one item and then you can get the rest for free or I think a dollar shipping um, on all, all your items, even consoles after that. People manipulated the system, but that was kind of a bad thing because Whatnot changed it and they're like, yeah, we're actually going to have cheaper shipping, but we're going to still have it higher than it was before. So not everything is going to be a dollar. So that was kind of like... Um, the good things I loved about Whatnot is a great platform to sell and interact and had cheaper shipping back in the day. But now I want to get to into the bad. And the thing is, there's a lot of bad stuff about Whatnot. There are some really great stuff, but there's also some bad. And the first thing I want to talk about is giveaways. Now, if you go on Whatnot, pretty much every stream is going to have a giveaway. Probably multiple giveaways, even a giveaway stream. And... Many people are like, oh, he's so generous. The seller is so generous. They're giving away stuff all the time. And there's many things I want to talk about giveaways. Is that these sellers are not giving away just because of the kindness of their heart. They're doing it because they want to bring in a lot of people. And in the early days, they changed it at the beginning of 2023. But in 2022, they had it where when a streamer ran a giveaway, it, they can do it as long as they want. So they can do a, a giveaway to 20, 30 minutes as people come in and buy stuff, attract um, new buyers, and overall just entice people to come into the stream all the time, thinking that can, they can do it. But this is also very bad for the buyers because if they have a stream and a giveaway going on for 20 minutes and 120 people join, well, that's not really fair. It, it's not fair in the buyer's perspective because you're never going to win a giveaway if that's the case. So they changed it in 2023 to have a five-minute giveaway. So that way it's much shorter time and it allows people to get in there. But also it doesn't allow sellers just to go on and just pretend like they're going to sell stuff and have a giveaway. So – um. It's also a bad thing because in many streams, they'll have promote a streamer giveaway where a streamer will buy something and on the other streamer's platform, they'll have a giveaway and they're like, oh, giveaway from blah, blah, blah. And so go follow that. And so that's kind of like the annoying part about whatnot is that they're always promoting people. Follow this person, follow this person, bookmark this stream, bookmark that stream. And it's annoying because um, it's kind of like the subscribe button on YouTube. Um, if you follow, let's say, over 50 people, you're going to have 50 notifications about, oh, this person went live, this person went live, this person went live, this person went live. And it's going to be annoying. And so I've grown to the fact where I'm like, yeah, I'm only going to – um, follow people that I really like. And for me, that's like eight people. Um, and I trust eight people uh, and enjoy their streams. The other ones I don't really care about. But that's the problem with giveaways and that they're always promoting people on the platform. It's annoying for buyers because it's like, I don't really care if I follow this person or not. 
everyone and they always say, oh, this person's amazing. I'm like, well, every person's on whatnot is amazing if they're going to sell. And so that that's kind of an annoying part about following and giveaways and stuff like that. Another thing about whatnot that is annoying to me is mystery streams. Now, mystery streams is a benefit to all sellers because it is a great way for them to make money. So let's say they have a floor, average, and a ceiling. Floor is like if you buy something that they have something where it's the lowest item in the mystery bags. And then they have the average, which is kind of like the average price you would get. And then the ceiling, which is a very rare item you would get in the bags. Um, so they would you say, let's say the floor is seven, the average is 10 and the ceiling is 20. Most people would, um, bump up the price, the starting bid to like 12. So either way you might get the average of 10 and, but you're might mainly going to get the floor. So if you pay 12 bucks for something and they get the floor, it's, it's going to be a five buck um, profit for the seller. So this benefits the sellers in many ways because the buyer just loses and they don't really get anything. And so, because it's a mystery stream, you don't know, it's kind of like gambling. And that's kind of like the whole whatnot platform is that you have to be over 18. I get that, but it's like totally a bid and totally a whatnot. It's like going into a real casino. If you, I, people wanted to waste money, they could just do that. And so that's kind of the big deal with mystery streams I have a problem with is that they don't really give you a fair chance. Um, and this leads me on to the next point is that I want to talk about unhonest streamers, people that aren't honest about the things they sell. I've gone into many streams where they go, Hey you guys, you can buy this game or in auctions. Um, they're like, Hey, this game is great. It's a $40 value when really it's like $20. It's like, really, where are you getting $40? Um, so it just, it doesn't make sense because I don't know where they're pulling the prices from. There's this one stream I was so, laughing so hard at because this guy was auctioning off games and he was saying, Hey, look at this. This is a $200 value right here when the game is like 80 bucks probably. And I was like, where are you getting these prices? Like it's more than above average. And I'm just laughing because everyone in the stream knows it too. And so I don't think I ever seen him again. Um, but it was so funny because I was like, why are you getting these prices at all? And so that was kind of annoying. But you just have to be careful on whatnot because many people lie. And they're like, hey, this is the dollar value of the game. Buy it now. It's a great deal. Um, but you have to be careful because sometimes that's like the worst deal. It's above average. And the thing about whatnot, it always benefits the sellers. And so you have to realize that. It's very rare that you actually get a good deal. And so... That's kind of the deal with mystery streams and unknown sellers because I've seen that a lot um, on the platform is that you'll see many streamers be like, oh, this is a great deal. Get it now. Get it now. Buy it now. You got a fantastic deal when really they didn't. It's going to be paying over and, over and above. Um, and I've seen this throughout many video games, Pokemon card sales, um, pops, whatever. Um, and that it always benefits the seller. So th that's kind of like what I'm annoyed with is that most of this, it always benefits the sellers rather than the buyers. Um, and so let's talk about the bad UI. I am using an old, um, version of whatnot because I have an old phone and not old iOS. And this is frustrating because, um, they have the bid button as one single tap and now it's slide two, but um it's kind of annoying because now you have um if you accidentally fumble your phone or you don't know where you're pressing you can accidentally bid and that's very dangerous i'm like really like there needs to be some restrictions on this because even the sliding feature isn't really great so there are many times where I accidentally miss bid. I'm like, no, 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 didn't want this, didn't want this. And then I had to go throughout the whole cancellation policy if all, at all. Um, sorry, let me go back to un unhonest sellers because I want to share a story where I did purchase a game. And 
the game came in and it smelled heavily of cigarette smell. And I'm like, oh, great. Now what nut's not going to believe me? And so I just took the loss. It was like $15. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not trusting the seller. I'm blocking them. Goodbye. So I just took the loss because it was an honest seller. So I'm very, very skeptical about all the sellers on eBay now because I don't know if they smoke or not. That's why I only trust a very certain few um, because I know they'll actually have good games. So I'm sorry. Going to back to bad UI, um, yeah, they only have one button you can press for buying something and bidding on something. So therefore, you can accidentally misbid. The other problem is that if you if I use a newer version, I can't really do much. If I'm going to leave a review, I can't really do that because it'll just crash on me. I can't cancel a bid if I'm on a newer version. So overall, it just doesn't benefit me if I'm using a newer version on a old iOS and an old phone. So that's kind of like the annoying part about it is that it just doesn't really benefit me. Um, but overall... Those are my thoughts about whatnot. I can't. I've been using it f again since August, so about good eight nine months now, uh, eight nine ten months, and it's really good platform. I love it. I just love watching on the mystery streams. Just love going in and sometimes buying stuff. But I think my time on buying stuff on whatnot is kind of over because, like I said, there's a lot of bad stuff between giveaways, unhonest sellers, mystery streams, the bad UI. It's just not the platform for me. It's a great platform just to watch and hang out. But in terms of buying stuff, I'm kind of done with those days because it just it's all about the sellers and making them the most amount of money. And so I just think that there's not much to it. So um, those are kind of like my thoughts. If you guys have used whatnot, um, let me know of your thoughts. Otherwise, it's a great platform just to hang out and talk to people with. Um, if you want to go in and bid on stuff and buy stuff, go ahead. Um, I mean, it's up to you. You just have to be very careful about what you buy. I've gone through a lot of restrictions and I've made a lot of mistakes on the platform, but I also made a lot of good buys. Um, so with lots of love and respect, I just wanted to make this video for you guys and just talk about it. I wanted to get this off my chest because I have a lot of ideas about what was good and bad about the platform. So hopefully you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.